He's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the Germantown section of Philly. His professional record, three and one with two KOs. Introducing Bernard, the Terror Hopkins. And fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with white trim. He also weighs an even 168 pounds. He's from New York City and has a professional record of one and one. His one victory by KO. Introducing Jovine Black Mucha Mercado. Bernard Hopkins, Al, didn't even know he was going to fight tonight until about four or five hours ago, and he just arrived here in Rochester at about a quarter to eight tonight. Probably sitting home watching some I Love Lucy reruns and said, <laughs> time to go fight. <laughs> and Jovine Mercado from New York, he was scheduled to fight here. He one and one and one knockout. He's from New York City. He was also watching some I Love Lucy reruns <laughs> and still decided to come and fight. And we are ready to go. Hopkins in the black trunks. And Mercado in the red. Well, even though I'm making light of it, it's hard to come in the day of a bout and, and do your best. And Hopkins uh, not having much trouble in the first 30 seconds of this bout, though. He certainly didn't have much time to get nervous. He was minding his own business this afternoon, and tonight he's on national television and wailing away against Jovine Mercado. Excellent uppercut by Hopkins, and that's what it'll take when Mercado bends down like that. He's putting together some very nice combinations. Missing with the right. Mercado is very, very lazy when he puts the right hand out there, and the left hook will get there from Hopkins over that right hand because he leaves it out there. Hopkins from Philadelphia is controlling the early going of this fight. And, you know, some of that is adrenaline. He's pumped up. He got here, a uh, good-sized crowd, and he's, he's ready to go. We'll have to see if it gets past this first round whether he can sustain that. Left hook connects. The jab and the left hook have uh, worked well here in the early going. A solid right. This is halfway through round one. Oh, and a solid left hand. And Mercado is in deep trouble. And he is in bigger trouble. The left hook, with a lot of leverage from Hopkins, is really turning on that punch well. Hopkins very patient, though, not rushing in as an inexperienced fighter might. Superb first round for Hopkins, who, you know, getting that fight on such late notice, has to wonder about his preparation, but uh, he's, he's ready to go here tonight. He is winning this first round decisively. Hopkins doubling with the left hook. When he throws it to the body, always brings it up to the head. Left hook to the body scores. We come to the end of the first round. A four, and Mercado is down just before the bell. Well, Jovine Mercado was scheduled to fight tonight. Bernard Hopkins wasn't. What a roll reversal. And Mercado is in. Combination punch of Hopkins, very impressive in that last round. We will see the knockdown just a few seconds before time ran out. Again, that hook that we talked about and the solid right hand. And Hopkins showing us, even there, showing us the uppercut that was also for every single punch that he has 
used that was effective, he used in this sequence. Tremendous leverage on the left hook, as I said. And you see him continue to punch as before the man is down, which is certainly legal. I think there was some debate as to whether they would send him out for the second round. Meanwhile, Bernard Hopkins is thrilled he made the trip to Philadelphia from Philadelphia. And Jovine Mercado is not entirely sure which way is back home in New York. Round two. And now we get into territory for Hopkins that, as I said, the first round operating a lot on adrenaline, pumped up to be here in the fight. He's got to sustain this, although he's got Mercado so hurt that uh, I'm not sure that Mercado is going to get back into this spot. Again, the hook. Boy, and I'll tell you, Charlie, he is not just throwing that hook. He is really setting down on it well. Mercado really hasn't thrown a leverage punch yet. And he is face first into the canvas. And he's having a real hard time getting up. It is over. As it should be. Well, Bernard Hopkins, five hours ago, was home in Philadelphia. Five hours later, he has won his fourth professional fight. His third by knockout. And how about this crowd? A standing O for Bernard Hopkins from Philly, for God's sakes. Nothing to do with Rochester, but they appreciated his effort. And I'll tell you what, that is a superb effort to come in here on such short notice and perform so well. Mercado never got off offensively, it's true, but this man and look at did him pose. perform. He poses well, too. We will take a look at uh, the sequence of punches that ended things for Mercado, and it will be what else, a left hook that really gets him into problems. That was probably the best power punch that Hopkins had in this fight. Setting things up nicely with it. Yeah, that was a good right hand. Solid right hand. Excuse, excuse me, the hook, the hook had hurt him earlier, and here's the right that got him right on the temple. So the hook had been the thing earlier, and then here was that right hand. Superb performance by that young man. Mercado was initially scheduled to fight a fellow named Keith Providence from the Bronx, but he was a last-minute scratch. And then a fellow by the name of Otis Grant from Montreal, who was a last-minute scratch. And then Bernard Hopkins got the call and the win, and here's Michael Buffer with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Frank Adams stops about at 43 seconds of the second round. The winner by TKO. His record now goes to four and one, Bernard Hopkins. Well, Bernard Hopkins is now four and one on his young pro career. Time this year tonight on Sports Channel America. The 29-year-old Haugen will be battling Bobby Nunez of Sacramento. Haugen has been down the road to a title, and he wants another trip.